this is a DIY box. DIY means uh, do it yourself. That simply means that you purchase this without the batteries and you have to put the batteries in yourself. I had to modify this one, put an extra wire because what it had, it was kind of difficult in getting a 2600 battery in it. It was bulging out, so I had to do some modification to it. When you purchase the box or the DIY kit, that's all you get in it. The battery holder, an aluminum case, the border, the button that's to depress this here and the, the front panel I put the back panel on it as you can see the back panel states input DC 5 volts 800 milliamps output DC 5 volts 800 milliamps capacity 26,000 milliamps milliamp hours that's all you get in the kit now to reassemble the kit I will be putting all the specs in the description below to reassemble the kit you simply fit it in here and you slide it down now you have one USB a female end and one micro USB one the micro usb is for charging the female end is for discharging that means charging your your battery or whatever once you get it in then you take your battery you place it the spring side the first you hold the front and you press in to make sure everything is secure you press it it lights up that means your battery is making proper contact Once you release it, it will bulge out because of the, the spring. So then you take the button end, the aluminum case, you turn the aluminum case down. If you put it up, that means this button will keep on falling. So you place the button in. Once it's seated properly, you turn it down, you take your battery and the battery case and you put it in and you slide it down.
once you get it down you depress again and you press your button if you notice it lights and then you take the face split and you put it on you take your screws you put your finger on the case make sure it's depressed properly and seated properly and then you drive your screws in to hold the case you take the other one you put it on the opposite side so that would hold the case in and take out a strain on your fingers then you take the other two I would say one at a time the other one you put, place it in screw it down you take the last one since my hand was in the way you place it in you screw and make sure everything is secure now before you put the main plate you test your power bank and if you notice it's lighting before I do Put the plate back on. I'll plug in this drock into it. Depress. I had a drock the other way around. And as you can see, the output voltage is a four. You would see nine volts. The amperage will not work as yet because I don't have something plugged into it. I'll be doing a review on the drop pretty soon. So you press. You see the phone light up. No amperage as yet because the phone is partly charged. If you notice the the amperage kind of flickering. I don't have a, a dead phone close by and to charge you put in your micro USB plugged it in And you plug if you notice the red light 
is blinking. And then you take your the front panel and you place it and you simply press if you notice on the front panel it has 5 volts in 5 volts out with the front panel in you plug and your power bank is lighting which means it's charging let me put off this light so that you can power bank is charging when you put the drop in you press 4.5 Nine eight just yes, five volts out, and that is how easy it is to have your own DIY power bank. Once you have uh, your batteries close at hand, if you enjoyed this video, please like subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos thank you